So I have a Troy Belt Storm 2410 here that won't start. And pretty much it's a carburetor issue and I've watched a couple other YouTube videos on how to fix the issue. So I figured I'd give it a shot myself and since I didn't find a specific um, YouTube video for this model, I figured I'd give it a shot. So first thing you gotta do is, and this is of course after I tried um, stabilizing the fuel, um, adding some additive to that, that didn't work. Um, I pulled the spark plug here and sprayed some starter fluid in there. Um, and it would turn over a few times, but uh, it just wasn't getting any gas. So pretty much this panel right here on the unit, you have to take this off. There's four bolts that hold that on and a little knob on top you have to pull off that you can see right in here. There's the full bolts, four bolts. There's um, two that go on the right and two that go on the left. The longer ones go on the right when you're looking at the unit this way. And then this cover just comes off. And then you have access to everything underneath, which this connects to the primer, and this connects to uh, the little starter key that goes in there, um, which you can see both of those right here. They connect to that. They were kind of hard to get off. With that, I'd use like a flathead um, screwdriver to get them to release. And uh, this one wasn't too bad. I just pulled on that until it came off. And you can see those two there. Um, also, drain. you have to drain the fuel out first. I drain that back into a gas can with a little siphon. And this is empty. And then I just held, when I pulled this, you have to release this little clamp right. Bring it back far enough here. Release this clamp right here. And that will let you detach this from the brass fitting behind it, if you can see that, from that brass fitting right there. So uh, once you do that, the rest of the gas is going to drain out of that. So make sure you have something underneath that when that drains out. And then you're pretty much ready to start unbolting the carburetor with those two screws right there. Okay, once you unscrew those two bolts off the threads, that loosens up the housing, but there's still um, a hose here that connects through and connects right to here. So if you pull off uh, your wire connector to the spark plug, pull that off and put that on the side here, that'll give you access to this clamp here, which you can slide over and then you'll be able to pull this hose off, which I'll do separately. All right, now I got that disconnected there, and that lets this whole housing come off. Uh, you actually have to lift up on the housing, and you can see that whole part there. And now you actually have some better access to the carburetor, which has that long control arm that connects to it down there. Now you take this little gasket off, don't lose that. Put that there. Put that there. I like to take pictures as I'm going through doing this, just so I remember how things go back together. It helps out. Um, all right, with that taken off, I'm gonna take this bottom screw out here on the bowl. All right, now as you remove the bowl, there's a little rubber gasket on that. Put that down here. All right, we almost have the carburetor free. You can see down here, there's the carburetor and there's two um, connecting wires that connect a thin one and a larger one. This thinner one, you can just kind of pull back and up and loop it around. And then this other one, you have to line it up and then lift it straight out, it comes straight out. It's hard to detach that one and I'm gonna remove the thinner wire now. Okay, with those wires detached, uh, the carburetor should just come free. You might have to pry it a little bit from the back of the unit and then you'll see the whole thing just slides off. Now we got the whole thing um, right here. The gasket fell on the floor, so don't lose that. 
All right, here's the carburetor, and the most important parts uh, to clean are there's a brass part in here you have to unscrew that has all these little um, holes in it that need to be clean, and also the float here. There's it's kind of hard to see, but um, there's a needle that moves up and down in this brass part underneath. So basically, you have to take this pin out, which actually just slides out. Not hard to take out, don't lose any of these pieces. Look here, all right, there it comes. That comes out, and then the float comes off, and there's that little needle. You wanna clean that. You wanna spray fluid in the hole. We just took that out of. And then also down here, and you can kind of see that, that needs to be unscrewed next. So I'm gonna unscrew that and that's gonna be two more pieces in there. So here we've got, this is what we have so far. We have, that needs to be cleaned on the top, and then you wanna spray some fluid up in this first brass hole, then you wanna un unscrew these two pieces out of here, which I'm gonna do right now. I got this going. All right, they just fell out. So I just unscrewed that and those came out. So this was in first and then this piece here screws in like that. Now you can see it's kind of all discolored and all that and you see all those little holes going up all the side. Um, all those holes should be cleared and they're all clogged. So this needs to be cleaned thoroughly and then put back in and hopefully it'll start. So I think this is the main culprit right here. And it wasn't that, I mean, after taking everything apart, it wasn't that hard to get, get it out of the carburetor itself. It was, most of the work was just getting the carburetor off the unit. So I'm gonna clean this part thoroughly now, and then I'll show me putting it back together, show you guys how to put it back together, and we'll go from there. All right, I found a really small wire, and that bottom piece, First, which you can see right here is that little nut. Actually, you can put it all the way through there, make sure that's clean. And you can also spray some cleaner fluid in there, clean that out. And then this piece with um, all the holes in it, uh, you'll see you can uh, go through each one of these with the pin. The pin goes through each one of those holes, make sure they're all clean. Go through each one both ways. I'm going to soak this piece and clean it. And the bottom piece, I'm going to do the same with that, soak that and cleaner. And you can see there's all kinds of crud coming out of here. It's kind of hard to see on the camera, but when you push it through, you can see it pushing out all kinds of stuff. All right, I'm letting it soak in some cleaner. Also, when you um, use that wire, um, you also want to go all the way up through the center of the long piece. So not only do you want to clean every one of those little holes um, that are like 90 degrees to each other along that shaft, but you also want to go all the way up through the middle. That's hollow through the whole thing. So you want to make sure that whole thing's clean inside and out. All right, everything's clean. I'm going to put it back together. So we're going to take the float. Uh, somebody else had commented on another YouTube video that these floats, um, sometimes they get a, like a little crack or hole in them, and if they fill up, then you're not going to have a working carburetor, so you would have to replace this part. Um, this didn't feel like it had any fluid in it, so I'm assuming it's good, and it's not leaking or anything like that. So the float, you know, just moves up and down when you put it in here. Um, so that'll go back in here. That goes like so. And then you have to slide that pin back in. I'm going to have to put this down for a second while I do that. Let's see. There it goes. Alright, put the pin back in. Get that centered like that. So that's the way that should look all the way around. That just moves up and down like that when there's fluid in there. All right, and then this bottom piece here, 
this one goes in first like this that part going straight in like that and then this bottom piece um, the part uses a screwdriver and obviously goes face out so yeah, it goes face out like that and I have to screw that back in and then we're all ready to go so I'm just going to tighten that up screw that in until it stops and then I'm going to start reattaching stuff all right that's all screwed back in the middle there it's tight and now I'm going to put the bowl back on which don't forget to put the little rubber gasket on first that goes right in the groove right here and that sits just like that so I'm gonna put that on next all right here we go so I got the bowl back on the unit as you can see and that bolt on the left is to drain out any additional fuel which I'll definitely be doing at the end of each season so we don't have this problem again ethanol gas is the main culprit of why these things get gunked up if you can find straight gasoline you won't have these kind of problems so um, this just goes back on here like so that slides on uh, sets all the way on just make sure it's pushed all the way up against that green gasket so you see that green gasket you want to make sure you pushed up all against that when you took yours apart just make sure uh, that gasket didn't come off with it or fall off. I'm going to make sure that gasket's in place. Um, so the fuel line here, I'm going to hook that back next to that brass fitting. And then there's a little clamp, don't forget, up here. You need to put that, reseat that clamp. And then I'll go from there. I have the hose line reattached. And now there's those two metal cables that have to be reattached. It's kind of hard to show how they go on. Um, there's a little hole for the small one, so that's pretty easy. You just got to kind of fish that through the little hole on this unit right here. There's a little hole on the flat part, and then this 90 degree one, you have to kind of turn. You got to turn this to line it up with it because there's it has to be straight to line up with it, and then that'll drop in from the top. So this guy goes in the top of this unit, and the metal wire, this thinner metal wire that has the hook on it, there's a hole that, that you just got to kind of loop that through. And I'll kind of show that when it's back together. I know it's hard to see with this the sun the way it is, but it's this piece right here on the top that turns. That's your fuel adjustment when you turn that. So, so the next part is we slide this back over and in. That has a tube that connects back over to here, down the bottom and it goes through the frame there's a hole for it um, but don't forget this piece has to actually slide down over this long plastic piece and then in so i'm going to put that on next that goes down here slides on through the top and then i'm going to show you how we fasten it through all right that's all bolted back on and i connected it back there just pass that through the hole and connect it with the clamp and then i reconnected the spark plug connector and all we have left are these four screws and the knob for the case um, here's the top part of the case that goes back on and those two wires connect there doesn't matter which way you connect those and then the hose connects there so that's just going to go back on here I'm going to get that done and we should be ready to fire this up all right, everything's back together. There's two screws on this side, one, two right there. Screwed those two in, and there's two on the side here. One here, and one between the gas tank and the cap we put back on. Um, it was just the two wires that connect your starter key. Just make sure that's in, and then this knob just pushes down on top, fits back in there. Um, so it should start. Um, I'm gonna pour some gas in, and we're gonna give it a try. All right, I put some gas in, primed this a couple times. Uh, backed that off just a little bit, and we'll put this on fast. Keys all the way in, and uh, we'll just give it a pull. Now, I couldn't start this thing for 
three or four days I kept trying I put some additive in hoping it would work its way through and nothing was working I put you know took the spark plug out and added some uh, starter fluid in there and it would only turn over a couple times I was getting ready maybe to have it serviced and I said now I'll take a chance to try it myself so here we go So, uh, moral of the story, drain your gas at the end of the season. <laughs>